Hundred percent. Why? Mm. How? We are working. We are working so well this morning. If, like I said earlier before the show came on, if you guys can count the number of viewers, your viewers have been boosted three times over. The KMP family is all glued to the TV watching this program, and it's a beautiful family. How many are you? We are a lot. The youth. You are the youth. Sounding like Doctor Indum at Circle. Look well, at us. Look at us. The Doctor Indum at show Circle did card. not have KMP. <laughs> The KMP mm. family is a huge family across the country. Are you, are you, you see, what, what are you bringing to the table? Oh, youthfulness. Today is the youth day, so let me say happy youth day to all the KMP youth. Mm -hmm. You know I've been tagged the voice of the youth. Okay. So I basically want to wish them a happy youth day. I think I'm bringing a Zubrant, uh, innovative, um, a lot of energy to the table. Mm -hmm. um, like you mentioned earlier, most of the people at the helm of affairs are tired. You know, they are old. And... When we say people are old, we don't mean to say it in a derogatory form. We all know what it takes for you to go through the day. My dad is 74, and I want to wish him good morning. And um, the good work he did recently at Quabri East, Mampontin, when he did his press conference, Mopia um, Onana, Sasia Ibuafo. Look, when you are old, you go through the day. Mm. You know the energy you need to go through the day, even for yourself. Now, you are 78, and you are running a nation called Ghana, where our problems. I've said it on TV3 that Ghana is the only place where one plus one is no longer equals to two. Okay? Because our problems are multifaceted. And for you to prefer solutions, you need to understand all the little nitty gritty of what keeps this country going. Mm. And day in, day out, the problem keep compounding. So if you do not have the energy to roll up your sleeves, get out of the air condition and go on the road and make sure the work is done. We are going to keep going backwards. But you are MPP. You voted for Nanado to become president for the second time. Yes. Why are you preaching this now? Well, look, you I'm should have changed the narrative. Look, in I, I did not decide to run this because of I think that okay, look, give the person a chance. He's coming in 2020. Coming in. Look, I have said this multiple times. When we came in in 2017, I said to myself, look, something is wrong. What we need was austerity. Okay, what we were preaching was not austerity. And I said it, that look, what MPP need, because Mahama has really messed up the economy. So we needed austerity to turn it around. We didn't. We did the promise, the promise, the promise. Thinking that, okay, maybe there's a solution somewhere in economics. It said that, look, if you pump more money, you can actually borrow yourself out of debt. Mm. Some people believe that in economics. Mm. I don't. But I thought, okay, let that school of thought rule and let's see what happens. We went on that borrowing spree, and now we've dug ourselves deeper into debt because of the shocks of COVID and the Ukraine war going on now. What I'm trying to explain to you is that... So, Akufado has also mismanaged the economy? Well, he has not dealt with it the way we thought he should have dealt but with it. But if Mahama has mismanaged the economy, you could say it flatly, then you should be able to give me your Well, credit. he has not finished the term. If he finishes his term, then I can give him a great... For the first term, can... did he mismanage the economy? No, the first term was great. It was great. Yes, the first term was great. Okay. The only shock we had in the first term was COVID. Mm. You see, so far, look, if you look at the macroeconomics, clearly that there was nothing that tells us that the borrowing was a problem. And I've said the borrowing was a problem. I thought in 2017 we should have changed gears, look at internal rejuvenation of the economy and stop the borrowing. Mm. We, the, the finance minister talked about century bond, 50-year mm. bond. I had a problem with it. I said, look, that's not the way to go. But you but all the to vote for hold them on, on, again. All the micro same set of people. I know. You know we, no, we voted you for Nanado. We didn't yeah. vote for the same set yeah. of people. Well, but you he decided to, to come with the same set of people. So that but one, you that's to vote for him again. Yes, that's because what I'm saying. the first term, we, we all clapped for him the way he managed um, COVID. Mm. He, we all clap every mm. every person clap for Nanado the way he managed. We didn't COVID. know we we're going to pay for the water well, and electricity. That's which fine, but I told free. you you were going to pay for it. That you give it yeah, on the left, yeah. you give it on the right. Yeah. I told you guys mm. that you're going to pay for it. There's nothing free. Government is me and you. So Johnny, what I'm trying to say is this: Look, COVID came, we did well. Mm. At the end of the day, what we need going forward is that we come. You get into a problem. How do you get yourself out of the problem? Mm. How we get ourselves out of the problem is now becoming the problem. And that is why some of us feel that, look, we can do better when we now take the helms of affairs. Should the people trust you? Very well. I'm the most probably honest person you have ever known, Johnny. Better than Alan Tremonti. You, you, Johnny, you've known me longer than better most than people. Better than Dr. Baumia. I don't know, but you have known me better. Better than you, the Greek minister. I don't know. Do you? Better than Kwabina Jepong. I don't know. I said, I'm the honest person you, Johnny, have ever known. So they should trust you? Very well. Beyond all of them. Well, my word is my bond. Can India Japan too? Um, look, Johnny, I said you. If you know, if you know Kenny more than you know me, then that's fine. But you know me better. So they should trust you. Better than of Ghana, sorry.
as uh, living in the past. <laughs> Ghana Water and Sewage Corporation. Eh? Electricity company. Yeah, old yeah. Man, you're Ghana an old man, that's the problem. Yeah, I'm not an old man. I read white. <laughs> Could you, this is the situation. Yeah. You saw the student, you had the MC, yeah. now you're hearing the PRO and the ACG boss. What's on your mind? Well, it's, it's just vi uh, vigil vigilantism mm. going on, clearly. Look, if you hear the MC, he says that the majority of the people in the Krobo land wants to pay. Right. It's a small Two group, communities. Two communities. No, mm. two. It's two, a it yellow and the Maya. Mm. The yellow. 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 The Krobo. yellow Krobo yeah. area, about 80% of the people there are connected. They are prepared to pay. In the Maya Krobo, and they are saying in the two communities in the Maya Krobo mm. is where the problem is. Majority of the people in the Krobo land wants to pay. Some youth has formed an association. Okay, called the Youth, uh, the Krobo Youth United Foundation. United Krobo Foundation. <laughs> United Krobo Foundation, right? They are vigilantes. We should deal with them as such. Look, in 2023, I was in Port Harcourt, and that's when. We're in 2022. Sorry, in 2003. Hey, I was in 2003. Mm. Okay. I was in... Have you been sworn in already? <laughs> 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 Sorry, in 2003, I was in Port Harcourt, mm. and that's when the Niger Delta people were kidnapping the white people. Mm. And I told them that when the white people leave, this kidnapping will turn around and they'll start kidnapping Nigeria. He said, oh, no, 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 it's only Yubo people they won't kidnap. I said, my brother, be careful. When all the white people left, because the tasty of ransom and kidnapping was mm -hmm. there, they now started kidnapping who? They started Nigeria. kidnapping Nigerians. Mm -hmm. So my advice to the authority, national security, police, military, nip this in the bud immediately because... It is affecting a whole community. A small kid can study. People, uh, dead bodies in mortuary are rotting. Mm. Where does it end? But look, I sympathize with ECG. Mm. And now the management of ECG, their hands are tight because the union is mm -hmm. saying that even if government pushes management to go, the union will strike. Mm -hmm. So the workers don't want to go back there because, mm. look, they've been shot at. They, like my sister is saying, they've been pelted uh, stones and everything. So clearly what needs to be done is that we need mm. to criminalize the action and basically deal with them as criminals. Mm. Because these small people, look, yesterday they are saying that there was a meeting. That mm -hmm. meeting didn't come to any uh, conclusion of an agreement. Mm -hmm. That meeting yielded a roadmap. The elders of the area, look, I have a document here. As far back as 2019, mm. you can see the people who signed their signatures. Right. Okay, mm. of people, elders, assembly people, whatever, that signed that we will agree to get this thing to move forward. After all these signatures, what happened? Nothing. We are still back to where we are three years down the line. So the point I'm trying to make is that the elders of this country, the elders of the Krobo land, mm -hmm. the likes of Ejakun, who are former minister and wants to be president as well, should come up and speak boldly against these things and let these youth know that nobody is supporting them. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But we have people behind the scene trying to make this thing to a political thing. you think that thing. we have used the right approach? I mean soldiers in there you know police in there it looked like the whole nation just descended on the community the approach in the past is perfect because they've done all the consultation they've done all the look they've basically entertained them more than i could entertain them okay so they've done perfectly yesterday they had a very lengthy meeting with the pro mr william um, mm. And he told Will me Martin. that yeah William Martin, and he have told me extensively the consultations they've done all the kebabs and all the stuff that they've given that they, so that everything goes well after all and this still from three years can you imagine 2019 till now the yellow side the yellow side is going well mm. but it's the mania side that is the problem but i'm saying that let's criminalize this let's call this a criminal act mm. and deal with it the way it should be if the minute we call it a criminal act then the the, the right course can be taken well so now where do we go from here because at this point I feel for the young lady, and if she's not able, she wants to do three topics at a sitting. Now, she is able, only able to do, say, one. So it could affect her test score when she takes a BEC. So she will be failing not because she wasn't dedicated enough to, to learn, but because conditions have made great fish to bend. True. Unfortunate. So where do we go from here? Very unfortunate. But ECG2 cannot back down, unfortunately, because a student is failing. The people in that area should watch these videos and know that their actions is causing a student to fail. 
Let's not blame ECG mm. for the action. Mm. It's the actions of the few that is causing the, the, the dead bodies in the mortuary to smell, causing the light in the area that nobody has. So if a small girl is failing, an adult should tell this youth mm -hmm. that your action is what's causing this, not ECG's action. Look, it's very simple. You can't give, more, you can't give a deadline to ECG that, oh, give us the light. Mm -hmm. We won't take pre-meters. We will think about whether we'll take prepaid meters or not. It's not, it's not negotiable. Giving them prepaid meters is non-negotiable. They either take it and, or they don't get the light. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Ajantua. Yes, sir. <sighs> Senior statesman. <laughs> <laughs> Could you, could you class me in the group of old, I'm sure. <laughs> this is where we are. There are great ministers that should define old people. <laughs> before, before, before I come in, I have a pet uh, um, comment, mm. a pet problem. Okay. Nene, thank you very much. Grateful. Nene Asada Aho is the Akuse Mache and PR of the Manja Krobo Traditional Council. I'm sorry for pushing you to the Y. I, I knew that there's no wall behind you. I'm sorry. Um, that was not my intention at all. Kojo? Yeah. Um, very unfortunate, <laughs> but as clearly, but why, why are you laughing, at I'm laughing because, look, um, there is a group. Everybody knows of the group. They are going around collecting money from residents, okay? You asked him, and he doesn't even want to entertain the question of does he know who they are. So clearly, there is intimidation in the area. And a PRO to the um, mm, traditional, traditional council, council mm. cannot even acknowledge the name. And it, it is grave concern to me. It means that we're not just dealing with any group. We're dealing with a group that is known to probably visit danger or harm to people who crosses their path. And it's been said, I have not had the first interaction with anybody, but I've heard mm -hmm. that this group goes around collecting 30 cities from residents, and sometimes they threaten residents who wants to collect these meters. Mm -hmm. So for just a reaction from the uh, Nene on the phone tells us that there's something dire and dangerous going on in the area. If he had even acknowledged that, yes, I know of them, we are going to talk to them, mm. then he tells you that, oh, okay, but he can't even acknowledge the fact that he knows who they are. Look, there was a meeting yesterday, and I'll retreat this. The meeting came up with a roadmap, and I don't know what release he wants ECG to come up with. It's very simple. Accept prepaid today, and ECG will restore your light today. There is, there's no but and there's no if. It's not negotiable. You accept to take prepaid, you will switch on your light. If they don't want to accept prepaid, nobody's going to turn on their light. And I think the whole of Ghana is supporting ECG on this. Because we cannot cascade this issue. Imagine the people in Tema decides that we are going to clear our things from the port for free because we gave the land to Nkrumah to build Tema port. Now what happens? The people in Ashanti decides that ah, gold is from our area, cocoa is from our area, we are going to eat chocolate for free. So it cascades. Everybody who gave something to government to do something starts saying that we won't pay. Now, if ECG gives in to these people and they don't take the money, do you know what it means when other areas also don't pay the electricity? You go to consult them and they'll say, that, look, you, ah. you forgave and did not take the money from the Krobo land. Why should we pay? We start having lawlessness. And lawlessness is something that we cannot afford to have in Ghana in this trying time. Look, we are in dangerous times. Mm -hmm. We don't need a trigger. We saw what happened one day, woke up one morning, and the group in the voter mm. region have blocked roads mm. that they are declaring this group. They are declaring independence. The man who declared independence ran away, he's dead now. Well, but you he saw did. what but, but we all saw what happened. When did he die? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> we all saw what happened, right? So mm. we can't afford that. We are one nation, peaceful nation, and Ghana is known for that. The minute we get these vigilante groups springing up in all these areas, it would become a dire consequence. So I think the national security, I'm glad he mentioned that Honorable Kandapa was in this meeting. Mm. He should really crack the whip on this matter. I hear you. It's, well, Akwete sent this message to me. He says, I work in Yellow Krobo, and I can attest that uh, there is not too much problem with Yellow Krobo. And ECG certainly ratifies, or rectifies it should be,